By using simple techniques to extend your growing season, it's possible to continue harvesting some crops through into the colder months. When choosing how to extend your growing season, first spend a little time evaluating your site. In the Northern Hemisphere, south facing ground is ideal. Look for areas of your garden which get as much of the winter sun as possible, as the sun's strength is considerably reduced in the colder months. A house wall can provide protection from winds and also absorb warmth from the sun, which is then reflected back onto your plants. At night, warmth from the house can also protect against mild frosts. Find out which direction the prevailing wind comes from, as this produces a significant wind chill effect. Fencing, outbuildings or hedges can all offer protection which you can take advantage of. Avoid growing winter crops at the bottom of slopes or in other low-lying parts of your plot, which can develop into frost pockets during cold nights. There are many ways to protect your plants from colder weather. Cold frames retain heat and protect plants from the wind, so they can be used to extend the growing season by a couple of weeks. Try growing winter lettuces and other salad leaves in them, or use them as protection to overwinter plants, which take longer to mature. Cold frames can be bought constructed from timber and plastic, or you can create your own by covering a wooden box with a solid sheet of plastic or glass. It will need to have a hinged or sliding lid so you can open it for ventilation to prevent your plants from cooking during sunny weather. If you have high-sided raised beds with low-growing plants, a sheet of glass on top can be used to construct a temporary cold frame in much the same way. Row covers are transparent protective structures, often in the shape of a small tunnel. Most are made from plastic or polythene sheet held up with metal hoops. As well as being cheaper than cold frames, they are also easier to move to where your plants are situated, providing them with protection for several weeks. Row covers come in a variety of shapes, sizes and materials, so it's worth doing some research and deciding on the type that best suits your garden. Look out for the following features. Flimsy plastic covers can blow away, become distorted and tear easily, so make sure they have a sturdy construction and can be pinned down. Ensure that row covers are wide and tall enough for your crops so they don't touch the sides when fully grown. With low light levels in winter, it's important to use transparent materials which are clean and will let lots of light in. Row covers need to be easy to open or roll back for watering since they also prevent rain from reaching the plants. Although you should be able to close the end of your row covers, it is important to allow some air circulation to prevent disease and stop your plants wilting from heat on a clear sunny day. The same principles also apply to Victorian style cloches, which are plastic or glass structures which are usually used to cover a single plant. Floating row covers, also known as horticultural fleece, can be spread over your crops to protect from the worst of frost and can also make it easier to remove snow. They have the added advantage of allowing some moisture through so that there is less of a requirement to water underneath. They can be loosely placed over crops but need to be pegged down firmly to prevent them from being lifted by the wind. However, they won't give you as much protection as other covers. Hoop houses, high tunnels or polytunnels have a similar effect to glass houses, which are often used in commercial growing. Because of their increased size, they provide an effective microclimate, which gives several weeks of extra protection. Vegetable beds are usually dug either side of a central path and the ends can be closed during cold weather and open during sunny days for ventilation. Greenhouses have a similar effect to hoop houses, but are constructed from glass or polycarbonate windows. In most areas, an unheated greenhouse will extend the growing season by four weeks and a heated one by up to eight weeks. Be aware that whilst it may seem like a good idea at first, heating a greenhouse does come with a considerable added cost and you need to keep a close eye on when frost are forecast for this to be effective. Bubble wrap is quite versatile and can be saved from packing materials. Because of the trap bubbles of air, it makes an excellent insulator. Like horticultural fleece, it can be layered over plants to protect them from frost, or can be used in sheets to insulate windows in unheated greenhouses during the winter. The garden planner makes it easy to plan out the types of protection you will use in your garden. Switch to the garden object selection to see full descriptions of each type of protective structure. Once picked up, an object can be dragged out over plants, showing the size required. As this is done, it automatically adjusts the sowing and harvesting dates for each of the crops under it. For example, in this area, Swiss chard can be sown outdoors until the end of September and harvested through late November and into December in open ground. 
By using a row cover, this can be extended and sown until the end of October and harvested throughout December and January. By clicking the information box for a season extending object, you can also adjust how many weeks it brings the planting dates forward by and how much it extends the harvest. There are many ways to keep your garden productive as cold weather approaches and the garden planner can help you to decide where they can go and how much extra you can squeeze out of the growing season. By incorporating some of them into your plot, you'll be enjoying fresh and tasty produce right into the winter.